Mitsubishi has opted not to introduce any notable modifications or alterations to the Outlander for the year 2024. However, they have introduced a high-end Platinum Edition variant for both the non-hybrid and plug-in hybrid models. These editions boast an exclusive black diamond exterior finish, complemented by a contrasting roof painted in alloy silver. The interior of the Platinum Edition showcases light gray upholstery and silver detailing encircling the gauges. There have been speculations circulating about a potential 286 horsepower rally art performance iteration of the Outlander PHEV, which could add an exciting option to the lineup. Nonetheless, Mitsubishi has not yet officially confirmed the existence of this model. Additionally, a standard two-year complementary scheduled maintenance plan is now included across all Mitsubishi models. The initial cost of the Outlander positions it toward the pricier end within the compact crossover category. We would suggest considering the intermediate SE model. This variant features elaborate 20-inch wheels, a 9.0-inch touchscreen supporting Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay, a contactless power lift gate, wireless charging, as well as driver aids like adaptive cruise control and lane-keeping assistance. Opting for the tech package would further include a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster, a high-quality Bose audio system, and a panoramic sunroof. The Outlander's base motor is a 2.5-liter inline four-cylinder engine generating 181 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque. It exclusively mates with a continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT. The standard setup is front-wheel drive, although all-wheel drive is an optional feature. While the Outlander's acceleration times are on par with other compact crossovers, excluding high-speed options like the turbocharged Mazda CX-5 and Kia Sportage, it feels less responsive and exhibits sluggishness at highway speeds, mainly due to its gearless CVT. Despite this, the Outlander demonstrates agility and poise in its driving experience. Its steering offers a good balance, maintaining controlled body motions and providing a firm ride. However, we observed a lack of sound isolation that allowed considerable road noise to permeate the cabin, particularly on less even roads. The test vehicle's large 20-inch wheels with limited sidewall cushioning exacerbated this issue. The Outlander we tested also had a brake pedal with a soft feel yet it managed to halt the SUV from 70 miles per hour within a competitive distance of 172 feet, compared to other vehicles in its class. The plug-in hybrid model offers more power, accelerating to 60 miles per hour in 6.6 .6 seconds during our track test. The 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine is augmented by two electric motors, resulting in a combined output of 248 horsepower. During our initial test drive, we observed that the Outlander PHEV felt livelier, especially in city driving scenarios. The latest Outlander showcases vastly improved interior materials in contrast to its previous model, which suffered from inferior plastics and low-quality trim elements. Not only has the quality of interior accents and surfaces been enhanced, but the design now embodies a contemporary aesthetic. Similarly, there's an array of modern features available, including a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster and a head-up display. While occupants in the first and second rows experience increased hip room and leg space compared to the previous generation Outlander, the third row offers very limited leg room for adults. The only other compact crossover providing seating for seven is the Volkswagen Tiguan, but unlike the Outlander, its extra set of seats is limited to front-wheel drive models. 
Cargo capacity has also expanded in the new Outlander, with an additional cubic foot added to the overall volume behind the second and third rows.